we're going to be fitting the Purple Panda microphone to my helmet. I'm going to leave a little clip now of exactly what's inside this box. Um, and I'm not going to bore you too much with the contents of the box. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave a little clip as this clip's going to roll into of what's inside the box and then we get straight into the installation. Right guys, what we need is obviously, as you saw in that box, there was quite a few other things that um, we didn't actually need. I've got the Hero uh, 7 in black. Um, for me, all I need is the mic, which is there, the TRS adapter, uh, the GoPro microphone adapter, which obviously doesn't come in the box. You've got to buy this separately. I think it was about... Forty pounds, I think. I'm not sure. Um, and I've also left the other clip out, just in case, and the uh, wind wind deflector as well. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to undo this first, and then we're going to clip it together and make sure we got enough length. Should be all right. The microphone's quite long, actually. Oh, it's longer than I thought it was. Right, apparently, I've just looked in the box, it says, look, that this is going to be a bit tight because it's meant to click. There we go. But that ain't going, that is literally no movement in that. That is solid. Nice. Uh, the, obviously, we need the TRS adapter because uh, the last microphone I had, I was plugging it straight into this and... Uh, when I was playing it back, I was having to adjust the sound every time because it was only playing through one ear. So that'd be why it's got two rings this time instead of my other mic. I don't even know where I've put it now. But that only had one ring on it and that'd be probably why. Yeah, that's solid in there as well, so nice. Um, next thing we're going to do now is we're going to strip the inside of the helmet out so we can run the wiring through there. I don't know whether I'm doing this the right way around, by the way. Stick this. Oh, that is massive. Mm. I don't know whether to take this piece off or leave it on. I'm going to try and put it on with both of them on. How am I supposed to get that in there? Not like that. <laughs> right, hang on. Right, there we go. Finally. Man, that was an effort, that was. The problem was, it was such a good fit for the end of this that it was uh, just a little bit of uh, an effort to get on. So. Yeah, that's, look. It's definitely gonna uh, deter some wind noises, hopefully. Luckily for me, well, I don't know if it's lucky actually, but it's probably why I'm getting the wind noises because of this is an open faced helmet. But it's already got a Bluetooth intercom mic in there, so I'm thinking maybe, maybe just uh, clip it onto that. What are you guys thinking? Mm. Don't know. How am I going to get it to stick on there, you're asking? No idea. Probably just a little cable tie, maybe. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to run it along the same wire, so... Obviously, we'll 
not have these digging into our chin, we'll cut them off. Um, so far, is I'll just put that on just to make sure I had the right length here. That's the TRS wire that's plugged into the microphone. I've just ran it straight through there, pop this guard off and then back on just to secure it in place. As you see, the mic is cable tied onto my Bluetooth helmet mic. So they're both together. I'm hoping it doesn't cause any interference, but obviously I won't know until we go out and test it. Um, now we've just got this loose piece to get rid of. Which is a little bit annoying, but I'm gonna try and just keep it up. Try and uh, roll it up and just cable tie it. <coughs> Problem we're having now is that's where it'll join the camera, up here. Obviously it's nice, that ain't going anywhere, that ain't going anywhere. Microphone's down here on that stalk. It's this piece, that's the issue. So we're gonna have to, I'm thinking maybe mount it in under there somewhere. Um, and then just having the wire up here when it's open does mean when it's shut, it will be slack a little bit, but long as I watch it when I shut the helmet lid should be all right I don't normally open it and shut it that much anyway so should be fine what I'm going to do is just chop off this I have um, just shortened the mic wired down by just cable tying it in a nice neat little bunch um, I might as well chop these mic ones off as well while I'm here There we go. There we go. Let's just do around three fingers. Not ideal with the, uh, I've just chucked it all on this stalk, but it won't matter anyway because, like I said, I don't open it up fully. There's enough slack there anyway, and when it shuts down, at least that ain't going to be getting trapped around here. Might need to pull that down a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I'll chuck another cable tie around it anyway. It's not going to hurt, is it? I just wonder what it feels like. Obviously, for me, I didn't need to actually remove these at all but my last mic i ran it on the inside of the helmet that's why i removed them but i just had a bit of a brainwave to see if that would work and it looks like it might obviously that's not the uh that's not the neatest um but it'll do the job just hoping it doesn't affect the uh i'm hoping it doesn't affect the mic with it all crumpled up like this, but should be all right. Shouldn't be too bad. Right, let's pop the um, pop the inners back in, and we'll see what it feels like with it on. Right, so that's, uh, don't mind my hair, by the way. See, checking out. That's why I'm wearing a hat here. Yeah? Right, let's check this on. Right, first thoughts, that is pretty big. Is it in the way? No, it'll be fine. I'll just shut this down. That wire, the wire that obviously runs here, slightly on my nose, which is a bit annoying. Apart from that though, it might be solid. Couldn't notice it, could you? Apart from that, I don't know if you can see Come through the wire on my nose. I have to sort that out because that's annoying. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that's perfect now. Let's see what it's like when you open it. Yeah, it's fine. Right, cool. That's that done then. Now I'll just connect it to the uh, to the go 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 go. 
There's my hat. There it is. Right, a little sip of this before we get on. <coughs> right. I've got a um, Yulanzi, the make is. It's a um, GoPro Hero 7 case. They probably do other models. Um, but it holds a mic adapter underneath, which makes it a lot easier. So I can just double the mic adapter up, straight into the side like that, and it's just nice and neat. Um, I'm going to be using one of these. What I will do, actually, I'll use one of these little uh, screws here. Instead of the, um, you know, you get the big, big GoPro ones like this. It's a normal GoPro one, but I use one of them. Just half the size and looks a lot neater. That should be long enough to plug in here. <laughs> and it's not. There we go, that's better. Just slightly adjusted it, just to make it a little bit looser. Well, that's pretty much it, folks. And for inside, I'll take a. Uh, I just grab my phone now so you can see exactly what it looks like inside. So there's plenty of room there to. Um, Obviously that's the mic down. You can move the mic when it's when it's in there anyway with your hand, but yeah, it's not it's not too bad. That's not much of an issue really. It's it doesn't look the neatest, but it'll be fine. Um but yeah, it's pretty pretty decent I think. But yeah, thanks again guys for joining me. I hope you've got something out of this video. If you have, leave a comment, leave a like. Till the next time. Thank you very much.